Have you ever wondered how effective the pulling out method is? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, a urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm here today with Fem Health to talk about exactly that. If you like this channel, make sure you subscribe and share this channel with your friends because Fem Health brings content for you by doctors for your health, covering things such as fertility, breast health, gynecology, sexually transmitted infections, pregnancy, and so much more. So let's get to it. So if you're not aware, what exactly is the pullout method? So the pullout method is during penetrative intercourse, the penis owner actually retracts the penis before ejaculating to hopefully prevent unwanted pregnancy. And is it really effective? Let's talk about what happens before a man ejaculates. So before a man ejaculates, he releases a fluid called pre-cum. So pre-cum is a fluid that's released by these glands called the Cowper's glands. It's released in the P-tube of the male urethra. And this pre-cum or pre-ejaculate fluid neutralizes the acidity or the environment in the urethra to make it more hospitable for sperm. It's typically released during sexual stimulation before ejaculation, hence the term pre-cum. While pre-cum doesn't actually have sperm inside of it, any of the pre-cum will pick up any sperm that's within the urethra from prior ejaculations. And sperm can live for up to five days. And because of that, when you're exposed to pre-cum, even when done completely perfectly, meaning that the penis owner is able to remove the penis prior to ejaculation effectively, which doesn't always happen, there is still a rate of pregnancy. And that rate is 22%. So one in five times a uterus owner or woman will get pregnant. That's not really effective. 